Hey, welcome back to my channel, and this is AG. So, I have updated my mix armor sets for the Great Sword after the 2.0 patch. So, I'm gonna show you different types of builds that can counter specific monsters and builds that can be used for any type of situation and at the same time providing the maximum damage possible. But before anything else, if you enjoy videos like this, please support my channel by giving me a sub and I'm gonna have more updated mixed armor sets coming your way. So now, let's start off with my first set. All right, the first set I have right here uses the Narga weapon, the Narga Great Sword. Of course, I'm gonna show you first the, the typical high crit uh, set using the Narga. So this one is going to be the updated version. So with the skills, I'm gonna show you right away. So with the skills, you know the typical attack, crit boost, and weakness exploit. This time I got 3 points to focus and the extra skills I got is guard up of course for special situations you're gonna need to block with the great sword. Then you also have like a, a bonus point to offensive guard which in a way will also boost your damage. As you can see my talisman is my favorite the plus 2 to weakness exploit and 2 to attack. So let's look at the equipment I'm using to achieve this set. Alright so let's check out my equipment. With the equipment I have, very familiar armor pieces. They're all the old ones without any of the new ones yet. The only thing that's different with this set are the availability of the decorations we have right now with the blacksmith. So they're, it's pretty easy to copy and replicate. This is my first set to start off and I'm gonna show you my second set with a more advanced attack oriented uh, damage set. Okay, right now on my second set, Again, using the Narga Sword, but now with added more damage. So what else could I add with this set? Let's check it out. Now with the updated Narga set, to add more damage, I added level 5 to Agitator. So with the, in case you guys don't know, with Agitator, whenever the monster is uh, in a rage mode, you get an attack bonus of plus 20 with an affinity bonus of 15%. So compared to the previous set, of course, I can't have everything, so my crit boost is reduced to level 2, and I've lost the focus. Still, you could modify the set in case you want like a, a little less on the damage. You could take away the decoration 1 point from Agitator, and you could also take away a point from crit boost and convert it to focus in case you want a level 2 focus with your great sword builds. Let's see what type of equipment I have. As you can see right here, the only thing that changed is the basal geese mail and I got the Goss Harag Greaves S for the agitator. Now for my talisman, it's the same attack boost 2 and weakness exploit. Now let's look, let's check out the demo on the damage output for this. I just had to risk this hit. High risk, high rewards. Oh, <laughs> it hurts. I don't know about this one, but it feels like I'm trying to spank his butt, but okay, whatever. <laughs> Still, good damage on the hardest part of his body. <laughs> After some spanking, you get to ride him. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to my next set. So for my third set, I call this set my Kushala Daora Destroyer. So basically, this set will destroy Kushala Dora. And in case you guys don't know, Kushala Dora is really weak against the uh, blast. So let's check it out. As you can see right here, three stars and very low resistance on the blast. So you should go with the blast type of weapon if you want to hunt on uh, Kushala Dora. So for the skills I have for this set, for the skills, I'm going for the max crit eye, max crit boost. Of course, I added 3 points to blast attack. And also, I added 2 pieces of uh, the Kaiser armor just to get this level 2 in order to get an added bonus of 10% for blast buildup. So I got 10% blast buildup right here, plus the level 3 blast attack, another 20% blast buildup with a bonus of 5, so that's 30% plus. 5 to uh, blast attack. So that's a lot. And you'll see later on my demo, Kushala will have a lot of explosions on his head. Of course, windproof 3 whenever you're facing Kushala. And I got my uh, special talisman right here that has uh, 
3 points to part breaker and 3 level 1 slots. So let's check out the equipment I have for this. So I got the Sinister Shadow Blade for the Magnamolo Greatsword. Then just to get the 2 uh, points on the Teoster Blessing, I used the Crown and the Vam Braces. Now for the Blast Attack, in case you guys don't know, the Jelly Vest S gives you 2 points to Blast Attack. And the Jelly Boost gives you a point to Blast Attack. So I'm going to show you my talisman right uh, here. 3 points to Part Breaker. This is a sweet talisman if you want the Part Breaker build. So which is perfect for my Blast set. And I added 3 points to my Windproof on my 3 level 1 slots. Alright, so let's check out the demo video against Kushala Daora. In this set, you'll see a lot of flinches, explosions, and of course, a lot of uh, openings for you to do your charge slash. And getting ready for the third hit, and he leaves. Don't you just hate when that happens? Explosions, explosions. That's how you flinch Daora. And you wanna tackle a tornado? Not a good idea. Oh yeah, so satisfying when you cut Dora's tail. And uh, Dora really has like one of the toughest uh, body exterior. It's like made of steel, so it's really hard to penetrate. Most of the times you're gonna need Mind's Eye for this, or at least Blue Sharpness. So this is what I do against Dora. Just keep hitting the head, you know, one or two hits, then roll away. And that's it. And you'll see a lot of flinches and staggers with this kind of set, so which really sets me up for the charge slash. Unfortunately, on this clip, it freaking hit the tip of the wing, and it sucks. <laughs> Let us now proceed to my next set. For my fourth set, I'm gonna use a different greatsword. It's now gonna feature the Tigrex greatsword. So let's check out the skills I have for this set. So right here with my skills. Again, max on crit eye and uh, crit boost. Then I got the weakness exploit to add up the affinity as well. And this one is also very all around set. You got the two points to mind, mind's eye and two to quick sheet and level two to evade extender. And of course, I put an extra point to crit draw for an added affinity. So let's check out the equipment I have for this set. For the equipment, I got that Tigrex Great Sword. So you can see it has a negative 15% to affinity, but it has like high attack row with white sharpness. My talisman, I have two points to quick sheet on my talisman with a level three slot and a level two slot. So I inserted a critical draw on the one slot and mind's eye on the other. So the Tigrex, instead of the negative 15% earlier, it is now up by 25% and you add in the 50% from the weakness exploit plus the 10% every time you do a crit draw. So on the average, you're gonna do 75% and you're gonna do like additional 10% on crit draw attacks. This can be your template build for any type of great sword. So let's check out the demo for this type of set. Set him up with my pitfall trap, do my charge attack, hit one, success. Hit two, success, and go for the last charge. Failure, I'm too greedy. I should have went for the tackle on the second. And lesson of the day, never be too greedy on attacks. <laughs> Just connect on two charges. So try again, might as well set up. Flash bomb. Okay, another extra flash bomb right there. And look at that. Lots of openings. Oh, and I'm gonna break that freaking hand. All right, that's it. Another charge. One charge. And lost my sharpness. And the final hit. Hmm, that's good. And now on to my final set. All right, for my final set, I'm using the same template as I used earlier for the Tigrex, but this time I'm gonna use the Abominable Great Sword. 
This is a really high attack raw great sword, so let's go straight to my equipment. Abominable great sword from the Goss Harag line, so you got 230 on the attack raw plus an ice element of 28. Again with a negative 15% on affinity, but this time it has a level 2 slot. So this one is gonna be quite better than the Tigrex set, but and it will do a lot of damage. So let's look at the skills. So for the skills, same as earlier, I got max on crit eye, then I added the level 5 to ice attack. And then still it retains with the 2 to mind's eye, and this time instead of the 1 point to crit draw, I now got level 2 on crit draw. So which adds, what, 20% on crit draw attacks. Plus my usual quick sheet and evade extender. So this is the type of gameplay where you just do like sheet, crit draw attack, roll, and rinse and repeat so this is the type of build that will uh, maximize those kind of gameplay now let's check for the demo on this type of set this is my rajang destroyer set but of course you could use this set for any monsters that are weak to ice all right try to set it up again close call over there go for the tail if you want him to flinch a lot tail again and he goes down for that count I don't know if I'm really going for the tail here or for his butt just like earlier <laughs> but still you'll get uh, good hits and a good damage on his back oh so close Rajang so close but thanks for the setup oh freaking I missed man go for the tail again and he goes down so this time your well back is mine again <laughs> but don't worry i'm gonna destroy his uh, horns don't worry and for my grand finale do a level three true charge slash oh so good and that final hit broke his second horn now let's see that again on slow motion this is my ma masterpiece right here. And the final hit, 1687 damage. Ah, oh, look at that. I can watch this over and over again. Ah, oh, look at Rajang just cry in pain. And that concludes my video. What do you guys think of my mixed armor sets for the great sword? Leave your comments down below. Again, I can't stress this enough. For my new unsubscribed viewers, please support me on this channel by hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon below. It would really give me the needed boost to make more videos like this. And of course to my regulars, thanks a lot for the continued support. I will be back for more mixed armor sets. Now let's get back to grinding.